In the world of parallel computing, performance is everything, but sometimes a hidden challenge called cache thrashing can significantly slow things down, creating inefficiencies that are hard to identify and solve. Cache thrashing happens when multiple threads or processes compete for the same cache lines in the memory hierarchy. Instead of efficiently using the cache, they overwrite each other's data, causing constant cache misses. This leads to a performance bottleneck, as the system spends more time fetching data from main memory rather than processing tasks. Cache misses and memory latency can drastically degrade the efficiency of parallel programs. But why does cache thrashing occur in such a severe way? The problem often stems from how modern memory hierarchies are designed. Each core in a CPU has its own L1 and sometimes L2 cache. However, shared caches like L3 or higher are often accessed by multiple cores simultaneously. When different threads frequently access and modify the same memory address or closely aligned memory regions, they trigger what's known as false sharing, a subset of cache thrashing. False sharing occurs when two threads working on separate data inadvertently share the same cache line due to how data is aligned in memory. Even though the threads aren't directly dependent on each other, every modification causes the cache line to be invalidated, triggering costly memory operations. The impact of cache thrashing is profound. The program may experience increased execution time, higher energy consumption as CPUs spend more time waiting for memory, and reduce scalability, where adding more threads or cores doesn't improve performance. To combat cache thrashing, developers use advanced strategies, improving data locality by reorganizing memory layouts so threads access distinct cache lines and nearby memory regions, padding by adding extra space between variables to avoid false sharing, and thread affinity by binding threads to specific cores to ensure predictable cache usage patterns. Code optimization plays a crucial role. Allocating memory in ways that match the system's cache architecture such as using non-contiguous memory allocations for frequently modified variables, can reduce contention. In real-world scenarios, cache thrashing is especially problematic in compute-intensive tasks like rendering, simulations and machine learning. Here, minor inefficiencies can cascade into major slowdowns. Profiling tools like Intel VTune or Perf can help identify cache contention hotspots. Modern CPUs are also designed to mitigate thrashing. Features like non-uniform memory access, NUMA, and cache-aware scheduling allow developers to further optimize memory behavior. However, understanding the underlying problem is still key to leveraging these technologies. Cache thrashing might seem like a technical detail, but in parallel computing, it's a make-or-break factor for performance. By identifying and addressing cache inefficiencies, we can unlock the full potential of parallel systems, optimize your code, and take control of your computing power.